Hey fellow traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to show you two powerful ways to swing trade. Okay, I'll be showing you how to use the trend line to trade, right? How do you use the trend line to find high probability swing points where you can actually swing trade? Okay, now here's a breakdown of what I'm going to be covering today. Okay, first I will show you how to draw a trend line. Okay, just, just in case you are new to the trading and you do not know how to draw a trend line. Okay, then I want to show you how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay, now the reason why I'm going to show you how to draw a trend line and the Fibonacci retracement tool is because I'm going to show you how do you combine both of this okay how do you find a confluence between the trend line and the fibonacci retracement tool to find high probability trade setups okay so this is very powerful okay i'll show you specifically two strategies that you can use okay one of it will be the trend line bounce okay meaning that the trend line is being supported and in the other scenario i want to show you how do you do the trend line break means the trend line is broken and you're trying to sell at the trend line okay so both will be covered right i will go into the charts and show you step by step how i do it so make sure you stay to the end okay lastly i'll end off this video by showing you how do you set your stop loss and take profit okay now a lot of you know subscribers say that sometimes uh, our videos are not complete because uh, we do not put the stop loss in and the take profit okay so uh, in this video i want to do just that for you i want to show you how do you set your stop loss and how you set your take profit okay but just bear in mind that uh, this take profit is a just a general guideline right you are of course uh, free to manage your trade uh, as, as, as you see fit, you know, as the market moves in your direction, okay? Just, this is just a general rule, okay? But your stop loss must always be there, okay? So that's, uh, that's today's video, right? I'll cover all this in today's video, okay? So today's video will be a bit different because I do not have a lot of slides, okay? In fact, we're going to jump straight in, into the charts after this, okay? Now, by the way, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Now, if you don't, hit the subscribe button, right? Because we're trying to impact 100,000 subscribers. And with your help, you know, we can get there, okay? We can't do this alone, right? We are trying to build a community. We're trying to impact traders. So help us to do that, right? So have you liked it? Have you subscribed? Okay. We also have a free day trading guide for you. So the link's in the description, right? Check that out. If you have not, right, just download it. It's free, no cash, no credit card, nothing, right? We're just here to serve you and help you transform your trading, you know, from maybe a losing trader into a profitable trader, okay? So let's get into the charts. I want to show you how do you draw a trend line first, okay? So over here, I have the charts, okay? So this is the platform that uh, I use. It's a very good uh, web-based platform called TradingView. Just in case you do not know, it's a free trading platform that uh, you can check out, okay? So the first thing I want to teach you is I want to teach you how to draw a trend line, okay? So what is a trend line? Okay, a trend line is very simple. It's just a line like this, okay? But uh, there is a certain way to draw a trend line. How? So you might ask, how do you draw it? Okay, it's actually very simple. You just want to connect uh, the swing swing lows, okay, if you are trying to draw a, you know, a trend line that is a bullish, meaning that it's upward sloping, then you want to connect two swing lows, okay? So in this case that I've drawn, is actually over here and uh, over here, okay? I connect these two lows and I'm potentially pred predicting that price will bounce at this level, okay? So think of it as this way. Trend lines, basically, you are trying to connect two swing lows or two swing highs to project the next swing high or swing low okay so in this case uh, i'm connecting this swing low and this swing low in order to project where price might bounce okay so this is one example let me just uh, carry on and show you more examples again okay so over here you can see that uh, you have a swing high here okay and you have another swing high here okay so what you can do is you can just use the tr trend line tool okay take the high connect it okay connect you can actually do it this way if you want to be more accurate okay and uh, what you can do is you can uh, select this option called extend right line okay so what it will do is that it will just uh, extend it further for you okay so i have some tips for you when it comes to draw to drawing a good trend line okay because you you might be new you might not know how to draw a trend line you might not draw it right okay you might say oh you know you you draw it so well you can see that uh, this part it was uh, you know acted as support this part is supported but i'm a new trader i do not know how to draw okay so 
I have a tip, couple of tips for you. The first thing that I want to show you is that you can always switch to the line chart. Okay, so if you cannot identify swing points, you are not very good at identifying it, you are new, switch to the line chart. Okay, the line chart will show you the turning points in the market. Okay, it show you the major turning points. So you have this swing high, you have this swing high. Okay, so that's the first tip I have for you. The second tip that I have for you is that I want you to adjust your trend line such that uh, it touches the most number of candles. Okay, what do I mean by most number of candles? That means that uh, your trend line touches as many candles as possible. Okay, but here's the thing, right? You do not want your, your trend line to be cutting into the candle body, meaning you do not want to draw something like this where, you know, um, your trend line over here. Okay, let me show you cuts into this candle body here okay as much as possible you want to avoid this scenario okay you want to adjust your trend line such that uh, while it touches the most number of candles okay it doesn't cut into the candle body okay it doesn't like like this you know you're not trade you're not drawing a trend line something like this that cuts into the body of you know this candle here okay of course at certain point it's going to cut through the candle uh, because uh, you know you have a trend line break Okay, so uh, that's normal, but as much as possible, right, try not to uh, draw a trend line which cuts the majority of the candles, okay, such as something like this, where, you know, it just doesn't make sense, it cuts this candle, it cuts this candle, and uh, this candle, and so on and so forth, okay, so adjust it something like this, okay, so let me just show you a couple more examples, maybe about three more examples, and then uh, we'll move on to how to use the retracement tool, right, then after that, I want to show you the main portion of this video right how do you actually combine both right how do you find high probability setups okay so make sure you keep watching okay so this is a trend line as well you have the uh, swing low and then you have the swing swing low so you have two points just connect it okay and uh, that's how you draw a you know a trend line okay so same thing over here uh, you can connect this to this okay so what you can do is you can practice, okay, you can practice, make sure that uh, you uh, pause this video or maybe after this video, you just uh, check out uh, check out trading view and start drawing some trend lines, okay, you need to practice, okay. So this is how you draw trend lines, okay. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool, okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your Fibonacci retracement tool, which is you come over here and uh, you go under the Fibonacci retracement, okay. So for me personally, I only focus on the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.786, okay? There are other Fibonacci levels such as 0 0.236, 0 0.38, right, and 0 0.5, but uh, there is no need uh, to, to use that in this strategy, okay? So for this strategy, I just want you to focus on these values, okay? So what you can do is uh, you can uh, pause this video, uh, take note of these levels and just input it into uh, your trading trading view okay or you or you can input it in, into your meta trader it doesn't matter okay so just just get these values down and put it into your Fibonacci retracement tool okay okay so in this case uh as i mentioned we just want to focus on the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.786 okay so how do you use the Fibonacci retracement tool very simple okay it's just very similar to the um the trend line, what I want you to do is I want you to connect a swing low to a swing high, okay? So this is how we do it, okay? Swing low to swing high, just drag, okay? So if you are trying to, you are trying to predict a buy, then you do it from the low to high, okay? So let me just show it to you again. If you are trying to buy and you are trying to find support, you drag it from the low to the high, okay? So what does this mean? That means that if price comes here and price retraces to here, that means that price has retraced about 0 0.618 of the move, okay? So if let's say here to here it's 100 pips, then if price retraces here, that means price has retraced about 61 pips, okay? That's how you read it, okay? So the opposite is also true. Let's say uh, you are bearish and you're trying to find resistance, okay? So what you can do is, uh, let me just show you an example. Okay, what you can do is you can take the swing high, okay, and then you drag it down to the swing low, okay? So in this case, you have it somewhere around here, okay? So just, just a gentle reminder, okay, in, in, if you want to buy, okay, it means you are trying to find support, then you drag it from the low to the high, okay? Now, if you are trying to find resistance, then you drag it from the high to the low, okay? So hopefully that is crystal clear.
Okay, so again, uh, all these Fibonacci levels are actually potential uh, resistance level or support resist uh, support levels. Okay, so uh, I want to show you how do you actually combine both trend lines and uh, Fibonacci retracement levels to find good turning points in a market. Okay, so this is how you swing trade. Uh, this is a swing trading strategy where you are trying to capture uh, the main uh, move in the market. Okay, you are not too concerned with day trading. You are not trying to scout. You're just trying to find, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, uh, good trades that you can write on. Okay, so let me show you. So step number one, how do you do it? Step number one is I want you to draw a trend line. Okay, okay so in this case, uh, I've seen, I, I see that there's a trade setup over here. Okay, so I connect this low with this low here and it projects this low, okay? But remember, when it comes to trading, you want to have confluence, okay? So what is confluence? Confluence means that you have multiple indicators, right? Or multiple factors that contribute to your analysis, okay? So uh, we have the trend line over here, okay? The next thing is we're going to combine the uh, Fibonacci tool. So you take your Fibonacci tool, low to high, right? Because we are trying to find support. Okay, and just adjust it somewhere here. Okay, so you can see that you have very nice uh, support over here. Okay, so in this case, price barely missed the level, uh, but I just want to show you, you know, roughly the concept. Okay, you want to find a confluence between the uh, trend line and the Fibonacci level. Okay, so in this strategy, I want you to focus on the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.786 level. Okay, so in this case, it didn't actually really touch the 0 0.618, but I think it's still a good example because uh, you can see that uh, this, this is how we do it. Okay, and in fact, if you look left, you can see that there's market structure over here. You can see that there's a high here. Okay, that was previous resistance that you would expect to act as support. Okay, so the three steps are very simple. Okay, step number one, draw a trend line. Okay, step number two, look for a, uh, your Fibonacci level. And step number three, look for market structure to combine uh, to, to make sure that you are entering at a good level. Okay, so let me just write it down for you. Step one is draw a trend line. Okay, step number two is uh, Fibonacci retracement level. Okay, so you can focus on the 0 0.618 or the 76 level. Okay, and number three is that you look at market structure. Okay, so this is a very uh, simple strategy. Okay, step by step for you. These are the three steps that you need to do. Okay, so let me just uh, go through more examples. I want to show you how, how to do it. Okay. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so maybe let's 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 try this. Okay, so you have a swing low here, and then you have a swing low over here. Okay, so you're connecting this swing low with this swing low. Okay, so that's step number one, trend line. Step number two, you need a Fibonacci retracement level. Okay, in this case, I'm going to take this level here, and I'm just going to draw it up. Okay, so you can see that there is confluence between the 0 0.618 level and the trend line okay and if you were to look left over here you do see some form of market structure over here as well okay so very simple these are the three steps that you need to take each time okay so these are the two examples i have for you okay let me just show you one more just to really make sure that uh, you understand it okay um, charts are looking a bit slow okay um, Okay, so maybe this one over here, let's see whether it qualifies. Okay, something like this. Okay, so um, you do have this point over here. You have this uh, swing low, or rather this swing low here. Sorry, just let me, this swing low, and then you have this swing low here. Okay, so uh, you are projecting this swing low here. You take the Fibonacci to connect low to high. Okay, and in this case, uh, your level would have been somewhere here, but again, price did not really hit this level, but you get the idea, okay, it's somewhere here with the trend line, and if you look left, there's actually market structure over here, okay? So this is the first way of trading a trend line, okay? This is the first strategy that I want to show you, okay? This is when you are trading the bounce of the trend line, okay? Now, I want to show you the opposite. How do you trade the break of the trend line? It means the opposite. Okay, because your trend line can be broken. Okay, so over here I have an example for you. Same thing, step number one, draw a trend line. Okay, 
It's the same exact process actually, draw a trend line, okay? Step number two, draw your, draw your um, Fibonacci retracement tool, okay? And in this case, same thing again, it almost hit it, but it didn't hit and that's fine, okay? That's fine because I'm just trying to show you uh, the process that you need to take, okay? And if you look left over here, there are some form of market structure. You can see that, uh, you know, there is a, there's a range of um, prior support over here, okay? So that's how you trade the uh, trend line break. Basically, basically, you are waiting for the trend line to be broken and retested, okay? You are looking for a confluence between the trend line, broken trend line, and the Fibonacci retracement level, okay? Then the last step is to look at the market structure, okay? Let me show you an, an, another one. I do see another example over here as well. So you can see that there are really a ton of examples for, for you to trade, okay? So uh, hopefully you practice this because this is uh, some strategy that's really effective, okay? If you can do it consistently, you should be able to make good money. Okay, in fact, uh, we actually paid someone to teach us this strategy. Uh, someone who's a very good swing trader, okay, he, he, he manages millions of dollars. So uh, these are lessons which we paid for and we are making it available for you for free. So I hope that you really, you know, take, the, take this to heart, you really apply it, okay, because uh, if you just watch this video but you do not apply it, then uh, that, you know, that's, that's really no point, okay. So same thing, you draw a trend line, which I've drawn over here. Step number two is to draw the uh, Fibonacci retracement level, okay? So in this case, I'm going to connect the uh, high to low because I'm trying to find resistance, okay? In this case, you can see that uh, price, uh, you know, price did a very nice spike over here. So uh, this two levels, it's... Uh, it's where you would be selling, right? Because I told you that you want a confluence between the trend line as well as the uh, 0 0.618 level and the, or the 0 0.786 level, okay? In fact, if you if you were to look left over here, you do see a very nice, um, you do see a very nice, uh, what is this? Uh, with market structure, okay? In fact, this looks like, uh, let me just see if uh, I can clear this and let me just show you what I see, okay? This is actually a left shoulder. This is the head and uh, you are projecting the right shoulder. Okay, so that's how you trade the uh, Fib uh, how you combine the Fibonacci retracement tool with the trend line. Okay, in this case, we are trading the trend line break. Okay, let me see if I can find you just one more example. Okay, uh, for the uh, trend line break one, so that uh, okay, let me see if uh, this qualifies. Okay. Okay, this one is uh, it's not perfect, okay, but it's fine, okay. So same thing, uh, step number one, trend line, okay. Step number two, Fibonacci retracement, low to high, okay. Step number three, uh, look for a level uh, that has the market structure. So you can see that uh, price retraced to the, uh, the trend, trend line, the broken trend line, we tested it, right. Uh, is near the 0 0.618 level and if you look left, it's actually a inverted head and shoulder. Okay, let me just clearly clear it up and then uh, you can see that this is actually a very nice inverted head and shoulder. Okay, so this is how you trade it. Okay, so now I want to talk, uh, talk to you about the last portion of this. Okay, how do, you, uh, how do you set your stop loss and take profit? Okay, so in this case, I just want to show you, okay, Okay, let's assume that you buy somewhere here. Okay, your take profit will always be this minus 0 0.272 level, okay? Or the 1.272 level, okay? Depending on how you draw it, uh, both are the same actually. So you always want to take profit at the 0 0.272 level, okay? Uh, we set up our Fibonacci retracement tool such that um, no matter which way you draw it, um, your the level is the same, okay? You can see that uh, one, the this first Fibonacci retracement tool is drawn from low to high. This one over here is drawn from high to low, but the levels are the same. You can see that um, in the first one, your level is minus 0 0.272, but uh, in the second one is 1.272, okay? We made our Fibonacci retracement tool like this so that uh, we can see both sides easily. We do not need to keep uh, redrawing our uh, Fibonacci level, okay? So if you set it up the way we do, okay, which you should because you know we, we can feel the settings. Okay, what you want to do is that uh, you want to take profit here. Okay, you want to take profit at this level and this level. Okay, your stop loss will have to go below the 0 0.786. Okay, so if let's say your level is somewhere here, put you know a buffer below this level. Okay, perhaps you 
you can even put you know below the um, swing low if you want okay if you want to be safer put it below the swing low if uh, you want to have a tighter stock so that you can buy a bigger position you can maybe put um, about maybe 20 30 pips below the uh, 0.786 level okay now it really depends on which currency you are trading if you are trading a more volatile pair then uh, chances are you need a bigger buffer okay but if you really want to be safe then just put it below the one okay put put it below the uh, the, the the swing low or the swing high okay so let me just show you another example and then um, you know I just tie up uh, this example this uh this video okay so um, let me see if I can get back okay okay so in this this example that I showed you just now I want to show you uh, how to enter the trade okay how do you place your stop loss and your entry okay so earlier on I explained to you that this is a good trade okay so let's say you entered somewhere uh, here okay you entered at the resistance okay you entered somewhere here okay so your stop loss has to go above the 786 level uh, Fibonacci 786 level with some buffer okay in this case let's say you want to be conservative and you put it above the swing high and uh, you just put your take profit at the 0 0.272 level okay so this is how you set up your trade okay very simple okay so hopefully uh, you apply this because this is a very very powerful strategy okay so I've covered everything so just want to recap uh, what what I went through today. Now, I talked about how to draw a trend line, okay? Uh, basically, you just want to connect two swing points, swing low or swing high, to project the next uh, possible uh, swing point, okay? I also showed you how to draw the Fibonacci retracement tool, right? If you are trying to find support, then you draw from low to high, and if you are trying to find resistance, then you draw from high to low, okay? You also want to focus on only the 0 0.618 level and the 0 0.78 level, okay? You do not want to to consider the other Fibonacci levels such as 0 0.5 or 0 0.236, okay? Now, I also showed you how to combine the trend line and Fibonacci tool to find high probability trade setups, okay? Basically, I showed you how to trade the trend line break, right? Uh, you just wait for the trend line to break and then you combine the broken trend line, right? Wait for price to retest the trend line and look for confluence with the uh, Fibonacci level and market structure. Okay, the other strategy is to trade the trend line bounce, meaning that price is supported or resisted at the trend line, right? The, 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 the concept is the same, right? You, you first, you find a trend line. Step number two is uh, you find a Fibonacci level that is coincides with the trend line. And then step number three is you find a market structure and you take the trade. Okay, then I also show you how to set your stop loss. Basically, your stop loss has to always go below the 0 0.78 level, okay, uh, Fibonacci level. Now, if you find that you, you want to be more conservative, place your stop loss below the swing, swing high or swing low, okay? Then I also shared with you how to take profit, which is actually the uh, 0 0.272 um, level or the 0 0.618 level, okay? Depending on how you, how you draw it, right? But uh, basically, you want to mimic the settings that we have set Right, and just take profit at each of those levels, okay? If not, that's it for this video, right? If you have not downloaded the free day trading guide, make sure you do it, okay, right? If you still have not give us a thumbs up, right? Please do it, right? Please, please help us to grow, right? We create so much value for you. We are giving you so much, right? I think uh, the least you could do for us is just like, right? Like the video, right? Comment, right? Let us know if this, this strategy is useful. Let us know that... Uh, uh, if you are doing a good job or if there's anything that uh, you are not too sure, right, just leave a comment down below. We love to connect with you. We love to uh, help you, okay, but we can't help you if we do not hear from you, okay? So please just let us know, okay? If not, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the Telegram channel.